Before diving into this chapter, let me recall some of the operations on sets like union, intersection and complement of sets. Let's consider two sets. Set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and set B with elements 3, 5, 7 and 10. And the universal set U has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The first operation we are going to study is union. Union of these two sets is a set of all elements which are either in set A or in set B or in both. Hence, A union B is set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 10. Note 6, 8 and 9 are there in universal set but not in union of A and B because these numbers are not there in either of sets. This is the graphical representation of A union B. Let's do intersection of these two sets. It is the set of all elements which are common to both A and B. Elements 3 and 5 are common among these two sets and hence intersection of these sets is set with consist 3 and 5. See the diagrammatic representation of the intersection. The dark area is the intersection part of these two sets. Let's check what is complement of sets. The complement of A is elements from universal sets which are not part of A and it is denoted as like this. This is complement of A with respect to universal set U. In this example, elements from universal set 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are not in set A but present in universal set and hence complement of A with respect to U is a set which consists of elements 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. In the diagram, the first circle represents set A and the elements outside this circle make the complement of set A. Now, we know the basic operations on sets. Let's try to find out whether these operations obey basic arithmetic properties like commutative property, associative property and distributive property. I hope you remember these properties. If not, let's have a quick glance on this table. Let's verify if these properties hold true with sets. The first one we are going to verify is commutative property. Commutative property of union and intersection.